and I'll come back home. For this video, I could start to show now how we could take the work with operators. You get different types of operators for JavaScript. I could even give you a link to where you can read up more about operators. We already started to work with some of them already, but we will start to see some other operators maybe we use to they make our JavaScript to they make sense small, small for us. So if we look inside this our code, so you see, say we already they add this equals to. Well, this equals to now assignment operator. Assignment operator now just where we say we go to take the they arrange things when you want to give values to something whenever we want to assign something to RAM. Now, we will say if we get answer and we want to save that answer for something or we want to add do something with that answer, we want to access that answer. Now, then we go to use the assignment operators just like equals to, right? So now equals to we they use for assignment operator. If you know to know math, not to worry, but you're going to need to think very small to use assignment operator. If you know one plus one, just they use money, they do them. They don't understand. So you're going to think them and you're going to do them. When I say assignment operator, as we don't they work with this equals to for here we feel say for inside our ps code so make we clean this code small and i feel say okay i want to assign something to run like i feel say i want to do let like i say num4 equals to like i give some space here i will say num4 equals to then i want to assign them to something so what the thing where i want to assign them to now the value of the thing where i want to make it be so if i say I want to make it be anything I want. It could be that thing, gang, 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 where I want. So if I say I want to make it be a string, for example, to do string for JavaScript, you could just do quotes. Then I could come say I want to make the string be, uh, make I use a number here to show you as it work for JavaScript. Then I say I want to make it be 20. Now, if I set them to 20 and then I can't console log this out, you can still say it only show me 20 for here. Now, this 20 where they see here, now string, no be the same thing as, as me writing 20. For example, I can say, okay, if I want to add this to now, for example, I can say for here, because now assign, I did try assign them to round, right? So I go say let num5 equals two. Then I go come say, I want to do num1 times two. Now, if I do num1 times two, what thing I do do be say, I did try calculate something. I did try multiply that. So I did say 10 times two. 10 times two is how much? Now then we go come find out. So because now computer will they use, we feel just say, okay, we want console log the answer. So we go say console.log, make I duplicate this line, and then I go say I define number five. And if I press it, you feel see, say the number where I get for here now 20 and the string where I get for here now 20. Then are because this now string it they inside quotes. So I go explain all these things later. And if I try to even add them, say number four plus number five. If I add them, it will give me 2020. So that's because JavaScript, they see this answer as a string. But if I say I want to make a day like before, like this num1, where we do for here, times this number, which now two, and not inside quotes, now then we take escape, that kind of thing. So always know how you they assign your variables and what thing you they assign to your variables. It is very important. But just to show some people where not to know or where they confuse, make I not forget to now. So make we come here. Just clean up the code. As I don't clean the code now, make we say we feel say we feel still add minus. So I could just say console log and I could just say I want log out uh num three and this num three one one log out. We feel just do minus, it will still work for us. If you do plus, if you do minus, if you do multiplication, multiplication like mass, if you multiply 10 times times five, and we feel also we go get 50, and then, then we feel also divide, say 10 divided by five. Or we want to run out first from here, just like board mass. We'll come put down for brackets. Say we want to make this one run first. For example, if we do an expression like this, if we say number one times three, which will give us about 30, right? Then if we say number one times three divided by this number here. So if I if I want to do this kind of calculation or this kind of expression, I'll come wrap up inside brackets. So I'll come say for here, like board mass, make this one first calculator. Then when it give me this answer, then go call around this side here too. So if I say 30 divided by five, go give me the answer, say six. If you even add more again inside them, if you do plus this, plus that, and this expression, it will always evaluate on JavaScript, will always evaluate this code first because I put this bracket. If not, it will evaluate from the right side, reach the left side. So always remember saying that so JavaScript they evaluate in code for us. No today scared about all these things. You know, to not be every time you're gonna use all these things. And besides, I remember when I first start, I this I know to understand where the mass they come. I can't fear because I'm the same mass, but I know the mass be, be the problem for here. So you feel also say you want to do something where remain, then a modulus. So modulus, like say if you do remainder. 
So if I say let num4 again equals to num1 times 3, which will give us 30, right? So if we say, okay, this num1 times 3, which will always give us 30, we won't make it always give us the modulus. So the modulus will be defined for here now, percentage sign. So if we give this percentage, it will give us the modulus. So what you go say, we say, it go, it go divide everything and the number we call remain. Now it will give us say remainder one. But for now, that's all we need to learn. I will see you now for the next video. Thank you.